Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Long, and today we are beginning a new unit in our course, our second unit. Uh, but before I get into that, I just want to hope, first of all, hope you had a great weekend, but also just tell you what a fantastic job you guys did on unit one. I was really impressed. It's high level stuff, and there were some people that had to redo things a couple times, and you, you got it done. And the essays are coming in. Uh, I wouldn't say trickling in, they're more like a flood right now, and now I get to get busy. Um, but you guys have done a great job on this, and I appreciate the way you've worked together and really just given this your best. Uh, I will let you know that it's going to take a while to grade those. I try to spend about 15 minutes per essay when I grade essays. Um, I might try to get it down to 10 just so I could um, um, get through them faster and get them back to you faster, but I do spend time on them. And I will give you feedback in Turn It In where there are a lot of drop and drag tools and comments that I can add to it because uh, I want you to have that feedback. So um, when I turn in grades on Thursday the 25th, I will note probably if it is not turned in, but you may not have an actual grade for that yet, just depending on where you were in the order of turning it in and so forth. So I just, just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Um, this week, we are beginning a four-week session on short fiction, another word for short stories. And so just a, the unit overview, where we're going is we're going to be looking at different literary devices, literary elements, some of the familiar things like setting and figurative language that we looked at in our first unit. Um, we'll be looking at irony, flashback, foreshadowing, and then we'll be looking at like rhetorical devices or what you might call stylistic devices and how an author might use uh, random punctuation or different punctuation, sentence fragments, creative spacing, uh, creative paragraphing in order to make a point. And then in the final session of the unit, you will be writing your own short story. We're not reading short stories to read the short stories. We are reading short stories to learn how to write better. And that is probably the distinguishing characteristic of this unit over any other short stories that you may have done. Those short stories are considered to be mentor texts. So you're going to learn from those how to write better. And I think that you'll find that that is a pretty effective way of becoming a better writer and strengthening your own skills. So in this session, uh, you're going to be doing three learning activities. Uh, if you're not full-time, it's going to be a lighter week for you. Um, We're going to read the short story called The Treasure of Lemon Brown and look at setting, figurative language, and imagery. And all of that is on one worksheet that you're going to turn in uh, at the same time. You can work on it over several days, but it's one worksheet or one file. Uh, our discussion board will be a little bit lighter this week, no peer editing. You're going to be sharing some life stories, stories that have been real in your lives that you might be able to turn into a short story later in the, in the uh, session. And then if you are a primary or full-time JVA student, you get the pleasure of taking your first batch of acuity tests this week. And so it, I would recommend that you get the rest of the stuff out of the way first and then toward the end of the week take those acuity tests. Uh, they aren't actually due until October 3rd, but uh, I've put them in this week so that I can recognize that they take about two hours of your time and just kind of give you a lighter load on this particular week. So that's where we're headed this week. Um, the first thing you'll be looking at, let's see if I can click with, with some speed here. Um, again, you're, you're making some connections of conflict, plot, character, theme, some of the same literary devices you studied with a play, now you're turning to a different genre of short, short fiction, short stories, and you're going to be learning how to be the author. Just a reminder on that. But you'll start by reviewing what a short story is, the characteristics of a short story, and the pictures are coming in slowly, those elements, and then the characteristics of those stories through so this video here. And you're going to pick a, or you're going to begin with a short story, The Treasure of Lemon Brown. And I think you'll find this is kind of a, an interesting story of generations of what we hold on to. It has a rather explicit theme that you can pick out from this. But basically you'll be downloading the document here, Treasure of Lemon Brown, and then completing this literary devices worksheet. And that's what you'll submit on the next page. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, you're not doing an original writing per se, you're just uploading the uh, file based on what you've seen in the short story. Then from there you'll be going to our discussion board where you can 
write about a story in your life. I know <laughs> my parents love to tell stories on me. Your parents probably love to tell stories on you, whether you like it or not. There are sometimes family stories or friend stories that kind of become part of our bonding. There are stories that teach us a lesson that we've had in the past, but we have all had different experiences that might just serve as a good prompt for a short story later in this unit. And I will probably keep this discussion board um, up and active throughout the unit so that as you think of different life stories that you could use as a springboard for your own stories and you can come back here and get some ideas. Uh, hopefully by the end of the unit there will be lots and lots and lots of ideas here and if you're really struggling for something you might visit back here later. So a little bit lighthearted, post your initial story, something about like the night you couldn't sleep, the best practical joke, um, whether played on you or played that you played it, something that broke, something that was broken, a bad habit, an unexpected guest or visitor, an unusual lesson learned, a fear you faced, a gift you received, a friend you helped, the time you got lost, your answer to the phrase, if only I'd known, etc. Meaning there are some other stories you can feel free to tell. And then just comment on two other students' stories, give them advice on whether that's something that you could see developed into a short story, um, any themes that you see through their experiences. Sometimes the moral of the story is very clear when we're living our lives. Uh, interesting conflicts that you see in that person's story or that person's experiences or any unusual characters or people that they might want to develop later in the unit. So it's something pretty lighthearted but and something not requiring a lot of research or anything but just something that allows you to participate, connect with others and prepare yourself for what's later on in our unit. The last thing is that acuity test and if you are full-time or primary you do need to do this. Uh, if you're not sure, please check with me about what's noted and whether or not you complete it. You should have an account prepared for you. Um, and if there are problems, do definitely know. let me know or check in with someone in the tech department in the district. If you're not primary with this, if you're taking this as one of two or three classes and you're primary somewhere else, Golden or Stanley Lake, then you do not need to do this assignment and I will mark it with a green bubble exemption because uh, you will be taking your acuity tests with Golden or Stanley Lake or Columbine or wherever. Um, but if you are primary, you need to take it with us. And if you're not taking it, I mark it exempt. And if you are taking it, I will automatically enter those points, that 30 points for the assignment, just for doing it. So um, what you'll do is you'll log on to this site, um, and then you're going to enter your student number and your password, which is your eight-digit date of birth. And that should get you on. And then once you get on, you'll be looking at the test. It's called the 10th grade Common Core ELA Form B1, Sessions 1 and Session 2. And I think you can do those on two different days. So that's it. And that will take us through the week. And then next week, we'll be looking at some more short stories, doing a wiki, and then uh, looking at different elements. Third session in this unit, will again, we'll be looking at stylistic devices. And then in our final session of the unit, you'll be writing your own short story. So that's where we're headed. You guys have a great week and be in touch.